Uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm not sure how well you can see, so, but today I'm going to be producing a slightly, hold on. But anyway, today I'm producing a slightly different video for you guys, which is going to be a computer review video, computer repair video in horrible light because my ceiling fan is dead. So... Yeah, I would be using this camera, it's just, it's video quality is really poor. If any of you are wondering how bad the dedicated camera looks compared to my phone, this is the dedicated camera recording the scene, recording the scene that I just recorded with my phone and the um, flashlight, but it's really grainy if you can't tell I mean it looks pretty alright but I don't think it would fly for today's video standards although you guys can tell me in the comment section if you if you'd be okay with seeing videos recorded by um this thing instead because it'd make it a lot easier to like these scenes so I'm using my phone but basically Basically, when I got the new power supply for that, and then I wanted to build my gaming computer, I put it in my gaming computer. So, so basically, we're going to take this power supply, which I got from the guy who gave me my motherboard. It outputs 300 watts max, which should be plenty to power a ancient power mac g4 and then we're going to be um putting this hard drive in and installing osx and stuff on it so let's get started with the computer video all right i don't know why my phone makes it way more dark but we're gonna proceed with installation of the new cpu Or not CPU, PSU. So we have to put it right here. And unlike the previous one where I had the cables going out the back with my flashlight. <laughs> with my flashlight, you can see that the original power supply was designed to be vertical. And if we look at the this power supply, you can see it's also designed to be vertical. So I think installing this guy will be much easier than trying to install the previous one so let's go ahead and install it should be pretty easy really it's just you put it in and it, it, or, it, if it's too tall man, I'll be angry here give me a moment yeah so apparently this is also too tall so we're gonna have to leave this PSU outside of the Mac like I did my previous setup. That's not going to look good, but what else can you do, really? So, I'm going to go find a box or something to set this on, and I'll be back. Alright, so if you can't tell, I have... It's kind of a mess right now, but I have fed all of the cables required through the old power cord hole, and I've set the power supply on top of a Mario Party 10 box because that's the only box I had because my mom threw away the Girl Scout cookie box I was using before but yeah but then there's another problem the power connector actually has two little pins for that type however some special people made an adapter that you can use you can use to power um, classic these kind of Macintoshes. I have one for the Gigabit Ethernet model because that's what I have. So you see these last two pins here? Those hang off the side of the Power Mac G4 motherboard. So all you gotta do is plug it in. Plug it in, turn on the flashlight. Oh, flashlight is being used by camera. Okay. So then, 
we're just simply plugging this bad boy into the power slot. So I'll be right back once that's in. All right there, so it's in all the way now. So now we just have to connect the power cords to stuff. So first off, there is that little thing I pointed out. That's actually for the fan because it comes with a special fan adapter since we're not using official power supplies. So. I'm gonna go get this crap hooked in because I cannot do this one handed and I do not have a tripod. So I'll be right back. Alright, there. It was kind of a mess, but we got it done. So I've connected both the zip drive and the DVD drive, and I've connected the motherboard via this nice adapter. It's kind of stiff. The entire thing is kind of stiff, but oh well. And then we've also plugged in the fan. So wait, let me just check that connection, hold on. Yeah, okay. So next up on the agenda, installing this 60 gigabyte hard drive. So we got to check the jumper settings first. So to get my phone to focus, you can see that, um, you probably gonna need to set to single or master. Single or master, so then if we pick up the drive and look here. And focus it, you can see that little black thing is in the middle of the pins. And if we check the hard drive configuration, you see it being in the middle of the pins is master with slave present. So that means we're gonna have to Remove the jumper. It is literally as simple as you just pry up on the little jumper until it's off of the computer as shown there. We are now ready to install the hard disk. So, back over here at the computer. I'm going to see if we can do this. Yeah, okay, we can sort of do this. So, hard drive goes right there in that little bay. So, that would mean we just go ahead and insert it and then plug in IDE. So, you can get this crap in. I hate IDE. Honesty, I'm so glad SATA became a thing. There. So now we have this guy in. So then, from over here, grab some of that SATA Molex power. And just go ahead and plug your drive in to the computer somehow. First, you just have to get it to um, cooperate. I'll be right back. Alright, so then as you can see, we now have our hard drive installed, and now this Mac is fully assembled. That means we can simply turn off the flashlight and move this little cable dude out of the way. Go ahead, close the machine. Now oh, it looks like you have a computer on life support because its power supply is sitting outside of the computer on top of a box. So that's it for this video, just because I don't feel like going through the laborious process of installing Mac OS X on camera. I could probably do that some other time, but for now, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed, and have a good rest of your day. Alright, so I changed my mind. We're going to film a little bit of installing, not OS 10 yet, because first we're going to install Mac OS 9 onto here instead of 
well, because I want to have both, so you have to install the old one first. So I just have a single CDR of macOS 9.2.1 that we're going to install onto this Power Mac G4. So, with your keyboard and your mouse connected, you're going to want to boot the machine. So, you're going to want to press the power button. And on your keyboard, you're going to want to press the Windows key. And then, hold down. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure it's Alt that, but you're going to want to hold it down as you turn on the machine. So, hold down Alt, and then you're going to want to wait for the Mac to start up. So we're just gonna wait here for the Mac to start up. And as you can see we're now booted into the OS the OS the Mac boot device menu. So now once the little this is actually a little watch hand little um watch hand there if you can't tell which is currently says it's trying to find a boot device but the only one I could find is our Macintosh HD. So, we're going to want to open the disk drive. Open the disk drive and insert our Mac OS 9.2.1. This is an actually an official Apple drive. This is a just a random generic drive that's actually DVD-RW because I needed to burn a disk with this Mac, so I got a DVD RW drive. So once you have this game, you're gonna wanna click the little reload icon there that will force the Mac to refresh its bootable devices, including having it read what's in the CD drive. So then, as you can see, now we have a icon. Now we have this icon right there that shows the picture of the little binder guy. And this is the icon for the OS 9 installation CD. So now we just wait for the Mac to let us select the disk. So this will probably take. Oh no. So then we select the disk. And we click the little arrow over here. But if you're if you're wondering, yeah, you can use like any keyboard. Like I have this generic um, gearhead keyboard that even has like numlock on it, even though numlock is not used in Macs at all. But it's just, it's really a Windows keyboard. Like here's the um here's the Windows key, and then my mouse is a generic two-button Logitech mouse with a scroll wheel so you can use literally anything on a Mac and it will not care at all what you use on it and I even have a little nice powered hub on it so I can use flash drives which is really nice it's a this is an Amazon Amazon basics yeah USB hub I really like it, it's very nice. So I'm gonna go just leave the I'll be right back. Now as you can see, come on. We are at the main installation window so we can we have the set up the disk. So we go to the utilities folder and then drive setup. So we're gonna go to Macintosh HD. I'm trying my hardest to keep the camera skill. So I'm gonna just like put it on my leg. See if that's help. See if that helps at all. My hands are just kind of shaky, but then we're gonna select Macintosh HD and we're gonna initialize it. And we're gonna hit initialize, and that will erase the drive. And now it's done. So now we have untitled. So then. Um, quit. So then, we're going to give this a name. 
you can just call it. So I'm gonna give it a name and I'll be right back. There, I gave it a the name Macintosh HD. So then in the uh, OS 9 CD, you're gonna wanna open this and then zoom out. So this is going to so this is gonna walk us through installing Mac OS 9. So I'm gonna click continue. Select a disk, which is Macintosh HD. Read the license agreement. There. And continue. Uh, continue. Uh, I, I, I agree to the license agreement. Oh, we're gonna... So, whatever. So, let me turn and start. And then... Just gonna check the drive first, which is always the first step. And then it's going to install... So, I'm just going to come back later when it's almost done installing. And then once it's done, you're going to want to click quit. And then close this window. And then go to special. And you're gonna want to hit um, restart. Also, hold down the mouse button as you boot your Macintosh. Hold down the mouse button as you boot your Mac, because that will force eject the DVD. So, yeah, there's the there's the disc. We can just remove the CD, put it into our CD holder, and then, as you can see, macOS 9.2 has been installed. Oh, yeah, there we go. So macOS 9.2 has been installed onto our computer, and now we're just gonna have it boot extensions and stuff mmm that wallpaper is pretty nice though and now oh what's this oh no oh no oh, oh no so can we just like close this oh yeah we can cool there. So now we have a full installation of Mac OS 9. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it just give me some feedback or something like do you like this kind of content and I'll catch you guys later. See you.